We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Game two of the World Series between the New York Yankees and the Colorado Rockies. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to the World Series here on the show. I'm joined by Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and Danny. An important ball game coming up here in game two. Well, in a seven-game series, winning game one on the road is great, but it doesn't mean all that much if you can't back it up and win game two. A win here really puts them in a commanding position, but if they split these first two games, it basically becomes a best of a five-game series starting all over again from scratch. The buildup to this one is just about over. It's time for all the drama of World Series baseball on the show, and we'll have it for you next. Antonio Senzatella is on the mound for game two. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Boy, Senzatella has really made a name for himself. Another one of the strong arm, big arm guys that have come out of the Colorado Rockies minor league system. 94 to 96 miles an hour, good sinking action. Love his slider. It's good, it's hard. It's a short, quick biting slider. His changeup has gotten better. His best quality, he's not afraid to attack the strike zone. Oh, and one. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. And there are our umpires calling balls and strikes is Mr. Earl Hendricks. Hey, d -Row, Earl Hendricks, he, he's not a guy that gets a lot of complaints by either players or pitchers. He's a pretty good umpire. Yeah, Dan, Earl's got a great track record in his sport. He's pretty consistent, and overall, he's been a fair umpire. Got him to chase out of the zone that time. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And that'll bring in the first-year catcher, Marcel Franchise. And he fouls this one off. Get your pitch. Make it happen right now, huh, kid? The wind up and the 0-1. And he chased it in the dirt. Sanchez has it. He'll throw down the first one away. Stepping in, Marcel Franchise. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way. He's in at second safely. As also on the play, a run comes across to score. He didn't fool anybody there because he was waiting on that curveball all the way. No batter, Stays no back and lets it break right over the heart of the plate. Gives it a ride and drives in a run. Nice piece of hitting right there. 2-2. Uh, two -two. And now the runner's trying for third. Popped up. Voigt has a play. Two gone. At the plate, Ryan McMahon. Up next for Colorado, the first baseman, Ryan. The 3-1. McMahon. Here's the two-seam fastball that four. bears in a bit too tight. It's ball four. Into the box now, Antonio no Senzatella. Antonio Senzatella. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. Get down, slide, it's slide. outside the throw. Short hop, but he's out. Great play to pick the throw and slap the tag on him to end the inning. Another good inning for the Rockies, and Blake Street might be beckoning for one or two of this bunch. Back with more postseason baseball in game two after this. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and that'll bring forth the power-speed combination. Marcel, franchise. First pitch of the at-bat. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. 
Britain has pitched north of 700 innings in the majors and with an ERA just hovering around the 3.00 benchmark. Swing and a miss on the slider and he's quickly behind nothing in two. Britain is one of those guys that just seems to be at his best under pressure. Runners in scoring position, tight game, tough hitters at the plate. That's when he's at his best. Get here, get here, one of the get here, keys, Matty V, to being a good reliever is being able to pitch out of trouble. Trouble that's created by the pitchers before you, or sometimes you even have some mess that you put on yourself. Hey, regardless if it's a well, this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with the victory and look on to the next one. Before we take our leave, time for a look at our final line score here in what turned out to be a close two-run victory. Every game has its offensive stars, and in this one, he arguably shined the brightest. He's our top player of the game. Well, when your one hit of the game is a home run, and it ends up being a really critical one, you have to feel pretty good. It wasn't a huge day on the stat sheet, but it led his team to a win, and that's all you can hope for as a player. A 6-4 finish in tonight's affair. Colorado have evened up this World Series at one game apiece. Antonio Senzatella is credited with the win. James Paxton struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskers, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the Show Nation.